Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Thursday, December 21. Almost time for Santa to come down the chimney. Today we are updating the 1946 Chris Craft Brightside U22 that uh, has now received seven coats of Interlux Perfection plus two-part varnish. As we've explained in many of our videos, shiny is about flat. The flatter you get it, the shinier result is going to be. If you want a truly startling gloss, then you need to sand the surface as you build uh, film thickness. But you have to be careful with that. If you do it too soon or do it too aggressively, uh, all you keep doing is sanding varnish away and you don't get the result you want. And the result you want, which we will eventually be able to produce and haven't yet, as is fairly evident here, is a uniform, what we call a snow field. Now, we are in the process of hand sanding this entire hull with this tool. We don't do it by hand holding the sandpaper because then we would sand there, 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 and there. And that doesn't lead you to flat. And what you can see, I believe, if we come in a little bit, see these areas that are darker? And in particular, if I turn the camera so that it's facing into the light, you can see glossy areas. Well, those glossy areas are declivities below, beneath the surface that we will eventually fill with varnish. But as we varnish, and we, we will only sand every three coats or so, as we get further on, we will sand every four coats. Uh, this hull will eventually have 20 coats on it. The, the uh, frequency of these glossy areas, these declivities, right, shrinks exponentially. So the trick here is to sand with the grain. You want all your scratches to be longitudinal, running with the grain. And you're going to say, well, there are no scratches there. Oh, yes, there are scratches there. Um, and if my eyesight was more like R RJ's, uh, I, would, I would see more than I see now. But we will sand the entire hull. And from a distance, I mean, it, it looks pretty good now after seven coats. But it still is slightly ripply. If that's, if that's a word, maybe I just invented a word. Uh, and we'll continue that way. Uh, at this point, we're not particularly careful about having a little bit of dirt in the horizontals, on the horizontal surfaces, uh, because we will sand those away every few coats. And when we get to the final series of coats, we, we become quite aggressive in combating dirt. But then we will buff this boat. So when we're finished, there will be absolutely no dirt in the finish. There'll just be a gloss that is deeper than deep. So right now at this point, John has sanded the aft deck 
and the starboard, most of the starboard running board. And I think here's a good example of what I was talking about a minute ago. I'm hoping the camera can pick this up. But we have quite a bit of shininess, quite a few pits in that area. But my goodness, just think back not three months ago and what we would be viewing as something quite different than what we are today. So, as Christmas approaches, we're in the midst of Hanukkah. New Year's is just a couple weeks away. We will bid you adieu for now. We will be updating you on the 1946 Brightside U-22 after we've applied uh, three to five more coats. I think you will note, notice the difference at that time. But until then, uh, from St. Mountain Boat Works, we are wishing you the, the merriest of holiday seasons, Merry Christmas, and a great 2018 boating season. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boat Works.